to show y'all this. You have to excuse the guest bedroom, girl. We still have stuff going on in the house. This inflatable wash basin that I used for JB this past weekend. This is where their head's supposed to go. I have no idea how this would work for an adult because that's too small in my opinion. I used this um, and it was it was a breeze, right, Boo Boo? Yeah. It only took me, it took me literally half the time it would take to wash his hair. And since we are growing his hair out, or I'm growing his hair out, this is what I'm going to be using. Now, I, I should probably deflate this. Uh, but No. You know. <laughs> you know what? No, I'm going to be washing his hair every six to seven days as opposed to, girl, like sometimes I stretch it almost two weeks. But I don't need to make sure That's that his scalp is cleansed. No, that's my mommy uniform. So I've been using, um, well, let me show y'all. For JB, I've been using the Blue Magic Argan Oil Herbal Complex. And then to seal in the moisture, I've been using the coconut oil. Just a little bit. Shh, shh, baby. Don't really get no big butt. So. Be still. <laughs> be still, sweetheart. Come here. <clears throat> so yeah, we're growing. Be still, sweetheart. You're, you're moving around. Good morning, you guys. Sorry, I'm listening to a little bit of Natalie Grant. Love her. She's a great um, Christian singer anyway you guys first of all i want to say to everyone um from my last video thank you guys so much for your well wishes regarding my promotion i really do appreciate that from the bottom of my heart <clears throat> hold on y'all throat is kind of dry <clears throat> Ooh. I'm here at JB school and you know what I had done has been working you guys he wanted me to start walking him in there every day no so what I do is I park over he can see me and walk over we've been doing that for a month but then today he was like I'm ready to get out we have to be very careful I think as content creators when we give advice to our subscribers viewers etc because not everything is going to work for everyone okay and and I say that sometimes in my videos um yeah what the hell's going on hold on I gotta let up my this kid's a too dang on loud there we go now y'all can hear me sorry about that not everything is going to work for everyone okay um what I do my regimen Jamie's over here looking at me what the heck hold on y'all I'm sorry y'all hold on what, what is it baby I'm doing, I'm recording a video. Bye. <laughs> y'all hear him laughing. Um, I'm not ready. Y'all hear him roll out that window. Not everything is going to work for everyone. And so I think that we have to be responsible as content creators when we're giving advice that we be careful when we give advice. And I've had some of you guys correct me on a few things. Not, not a lot, but every now and then you guys will correct me on something. Or maybe, you know, not necessarily correct me, but give me suggestions on how to use a product that maybe didn't work for me. Or give me suggestions of other products in general. And I am very open to feedback. I... Look, I think that's how you grow as individual if you're open for feedback and if you're open to change. With that being said, I have seen two videos recently where I'm like, you have to really take what people say with a grain of salt and keep in mind that not everything is going to work for you. So, you guys know, I I shared a video on my community page, and I know not everyone follows that. It's my community page, excuse me. So, every now and then, I will share a video that I like. A couple of weeks ago, I shared a video from Curl Myths Exposed. Now, she is... um. She's a Caucasian woman with extremely tight curly hair. Like when I first saw her, honestly, when I first saw her hair, it looked like it looked like a 4A, 4B rod set. Like I kid you not. I was looking at her like. Is she is she just light skinned? <laughs> no, girl, she white. <laughs> at least I I from what I can see that I think she is, you know, Caucasian. Um, but uh she gives advice on curly hair. I've gotten um, tips from three category chicks. I pull what I need from that. You know what I mean, y'all? So, Curl Miss Exposed had a video, basically, whether or not to detangle your hair on wet or dry hair. I'm trying to get that out the way, y'all. I don't like that background. I'm trying to get that out the way, y'all. Sorry. Yeah, that's better. Um, and there were some four type chicks and the comment section confused on whether or not they should really start detangling their hair. Uh, let me tell you something. That advice was for three type curl patterns. 
we with four textured hair we cannot do that especially if you're could you imagine dry detangling on a wash and go and i saw a comment someone said and i responded to it someone said i would i would take your advice if i saw you actually dry detangle a four type hair and this is just an example of not everything works for everyone that's what i basically said you know she has great advice on some of her other videos she has it um she has videos on low porosity high porosity i have to give jb some sugar my baby some sugar he's so cute y'all it's so funny about genetics i'm looking at this other mom and i know her mother she walks just like her mom isn't that funny like they have the same type of what do you call it gait they have like an unsteady gait about them, how they walk. That same type of walk. Genetics are funny. I was going to tell her that, but she may find that offensive. <laughs> so anyway, y'all, I feel so much better because the body, I saw her at the gym yesterday. She parked right up on me. You know what? These people get on my nerves. I saw the body at the gym yesterday, and she was like, um, she was like, you have a good fit. You have a good figure. I can see your curves. Just work out and it'll all pull together. I'm like, thank you, body. <laughs> right, right, you guys. Let me turn on. Oh, my husband. You know what? Don't get an attitude, Vivian. Don't get an attitude. I'm, I'm, I'm a little perturbed. That's the word we're going to use. I think my husband asked because I, I just text him and I've been calling him, calling him, calling him. And what am I talking about? Anyway, I've been calling his ass because we found the contractor. We're gonna go ahead and go with the first guy who came over. He was very professional. He let us know, cause let me back up. I was speaking to my FBI friend. Yeah, girl, I got an FBI friend. Her and her husband work for the FBI. And I ran into her this morning at the gym and she, she's like, what's going on with the bathroom? My face changed. And her husband chimed in and he was like, that's very common with contractors. Unfortunately, they were drag out projects, so you gotta be very specific. I said, oh, you ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to tell me. So when I came home after my you know, 20 minute workout, I told my husband, I'm like, you know what? We should just go ahead and hire one of the people that we already talked to earlier this week because he wanted me to go back and call some more people. I'm done, y'all. We've been dealing with this now the hell since February, I'm done. I'm like, let's just go ahead and hire one of these guys we talked to earlier this week and be done with it. Girl, drama, 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 drama. Can y'all see me? Can you see me, girl? Mm -hmm. So y'all, I had had some footage earlier about some stuff that had happened earlier this week. Um, and I deleted it because now some other stuff <laughs> came out. Y'all look at the damn bathtub. Anyway, um, my girl Angel, aka Nezzy Nabs, did a video. Now, by the time I load this up, it would have been almost a week at this point. But I want to give my insight because I have left some comments on both their videos, and I know a couple of y'all have seen them. So, Angel made a video in reaction to one of her subscribers who wanted to know what are her thoughts on this other young lady's video. Basically saying that grease will break your hair off if you now let me clarify what she said because There were so many people who were confused on that video and the youtuber is Miss Mississippi I don't I don't want to say she was talking in circles didn't explain clearly what she was trying to say Hey, I can barely talk um, But I kind of got what she was trying to say even though I don't agree with with um, A lot of her regimen. I don't have to agree with her regimen. It's not my hair, but let me get to the point Miss Mississippi was trying to tell her subscribers, it's not something that is happening to her own hair, that your hair would break off in, let's say, three days if you do not wash grease out of your hair due to product buildup, okay? Now, her regimen consists of basically, this is Miss Mississippi, her regimen consists of shampooing her hair, rinse her hair with hot water, and then, oh, excuse me, pre pulling her hair with grease. Then she shampoos her hair, rinses her hair. I'm not even going to talk about the temperature. Rinse her hair and then she applies a grease. From what I understand, she does not use a rinse out conditioner, nor does she use a leave-in conditioner. She directly applies the grease after she has washed out the shampoo, okay? And she does whatever she needs to do, use whatever styling products I'm assuming. Now, she does deep condition her hair, all right? So, um, oh, so her, her whole point was that she... 
and I do want to say this to clarify because there was a lot of people who were saying I think that got the uh, misconception, misconception, excuse me, that Miss Mississippi was against hair grease and that's not what she was trying to say. She was trying to say that build up, regardless of the product, build up is what's going to cause breakage. At least that's what I got. But that's why she washes her hair every two to three days to quote unquote reset her hair. This, these are her words. Again, though, we don't have to agree with it. It's her hair. It's her hair journey. She does whatever she wants to do. I will say, though, you got to be very careful the advice that you pull because it may not work for you, your hair texture, etc. I hope y'all know that you know that by now. But girl, that's not what I want to talk about. So Nazi did a reaction. I don't even want to say a reaction. She clarified some things for her subscriber. Okay. In my opinion, it didn't come off as being petty because I knowing her like i think i know her she could have went there but she didn't and she doesn't have to okay she's grown she doesn't have to however the young lady took it she got on a very defensive um and made a reaction video a 30 minute reaction video that loaded up today and i tried to watch it you guys around the five she was very disrespectful around the five minute marker I had to stop watching it. And once you start to belittle someone, physical appearance, then to me, that's it. It's a wrap because you can't fight fair and it's a low blow. She also shared a picture and I asked um, Angel about it because I, I watch her videos. I've been watching her videos for years. So she shared a picture, Miss Mississippi shared a picture of Angel that was, by the way, an old picture. Those of you who have watched the video, the length check that she showed was old. That's not her most recent. I mean, you can look at Nezzy's recent videos. That's not her most recent length check. So, so y'all, we got to be very careful. I, I'm very careful what I, the advice I give out. I let you guys know a lot of the times that um, it may not work for you. Hell, some, some of the times the things that I do in my regimen doesn't work for me. I have to switch it up. You know what I mean? Um, I did leave a comment on the young lady's uh, video and she was very defensive. Um, I ain't gonna say y'all can see y'all ain't gonna say what she said, but she literally anyone who disagreed with her, she basically clapped back. She girl, she's a clap back queen. But I'm like, look, I don't go back and forth with anyone. Cause all I have to do is click out the X button and keep it pushing. Girl, I got stuff to do. I gotta eat tacos and shit. I got stuff to do. So So anyway, y'all wasted a good five minutes. Today is Thursday, but it's really our Friday. It's Friday and I'm ready to swing. We have a lot going on. JB is off. These kids, I don't know how the hell they're going to learn if they're off all the time. I kid you not. Doesn't it feel like he was just off? He had a half day two weeks ago. He's off tomorrow, which is Friday. Good Friday. He's off on Monday. Got all these days off, right? So, yeah, y'all know I'm extra. So, we have things planned. Tomorrow, um, I just set up a quick play date with his friend Adeline. And I love them. They're from Fort Worth originally, Fort Worth, Texas. And so... I said, all right then, girl, I'm going to bring over some wine and a plate of brownie. She's like, all right then. So we have a play date tomorrow. Saturday, we have a birthday party. Sunday, of course, it's Easter. Let me show y'all my Easter dress. Now, Snow took this in for me last year, y'all. I got this dress from Mod Cloth years ago. Isn't this beautiful? She took this dress in for me um, a while back. It's very thick. It is still too big. I tried it on before I left and she could still like literally this is how this is where i'm at right now yeah it's this is too big so i'm still gonna wear it though um so that's gonna be my easter dress and um monday i am meeting a friend for lunch bringing jb with me and i get to pick her brain over my book because those you know i have written a children's book and then i'm going to actually hire an editor i've already looked into illustrators so i'm the ball is rolling y'all the ball is rolling i'm already thinking about ideas for well i already did what's called like a mind map for my other book ideas. The uh, look, we got Dr. Orlson, but just busy. Busy all week, and like I said, we already hired a contractor. He is starting on the 28th. I could do a Holy Ghost shuffle right now, y'all. And we asked him, he came by um, yesterday. We signed the contract, and my husband asked him, he's like, okay, are there gonna be subcontractors coming? You know, people that he hired, you hired? He's like, no, it's gonna be me and another guy. We're gonna kick this off <laughs> on the 28th. We'll be done in seven days. That's what I'm talking about. Jerry. 
hell. And I saw the comment, girl. One of my subscribers was like, I'm interested. I wonder if he's married or have kids. I responded to your comment. But another thing I noticed, Jerry is older. He's probably 42, 43, but we, we all know, especially my subbies who are a little bit older, I'm talking about over 45, we know that that don't mean a damn thing for some men. Some men never mature. Hell, some men or women never mature, but especially some men, girl. You could be 42 and still acting a fool. So, and, and that's not to be petty or anything, but what's my point? When Jerry had pulled up his phone, he was trying to show me pictures of previous jobs he done. Well, I saw all these pictures of other females. And I was like, what the hell? Are these all your girlfriends? And he jokingly laughed. He was like, that's just some of them. I'm like, oh, so no, nah, girl, he ain't married. He don't have any. I know it's kind of dark here, you guys. Oh, there we go. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is really early. It's like 5.30. I've been up since 4.30. Oh, y'all. It is Saturday. I didn't record yesterday because we just had a play date. Don't want to show too much. Um, oh, I have a lot of errands to run. I gotta, I mean, I have like four or five places I need to stop by, but I need to break it up between today and tomorrow. I need to break all this stuff up. So today we just have a birthday party. We have to go to around one. Um, and then tomorrow, we are, mm, I'm sorry y'all. Tomorrow we're going to church and of course I'm cooking for Easter. I think I'm gonna cook the pound cake today though because I'm, I'm not cooking anything extravagant for Easter. We don't eat pork, uh, but I am tired this morning. Um, I slept, but then I woke up in the middle of the night and I was up for like an hour. Which is why I keep yawning. I want some coffee. And I don't have coffee because um, I threw my coffee out two months ago. But since I had that coffee yesterday, now I'm itching for some coffee. Let me see if I have any coffee, y'all. Hold on. Nope. So y'all, we're kind of in the dark. This is my lemon pound cake with glaze. It, ugh, this is the first time I've used a tube and I didn't spray the tube enough. I'm gonna cut JB a little piece so he can taste it. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that, look at that. This is the best type of ice and I made this perfect because see how it kind of cracked there? That's how you want it. Ooh, you can help me out. No, that. no, that, that's too that. much icing. Look at that, I'm gonna eat that top part. You ain't got to worry about, look at that y'all. You ain't got to worry about that, baby. I'm gonna yeah, eat that. Yeah, yeah, but the bottom has icy. Oh, I'll eat all that till you my outfit. This is what I'm wearing. Excuse, JB. Can you see this? I got this from Ross. So y'all, I did record this style. This is a fluffy, very fluffy wash and go using melanin hair care and extreme gel. I like that it's not that crunchy. However, it's not gonna last as long as my other wash and goes. I can typically get about six to seven days. That's a lot, five or six days. This, about four, four days, but that's okay. But I will say it's, it's stretched more than my typical wash and go. So let me see if I can do it, see if y'all can see the back. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna have this recorded, so. Can y'all see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> JB, JB, JB. low carb loaded turkey nachos you can't see but I have mini peppers seasoned turkey black beans roasted corn <laughs> tomatoes cilantro uh, what else jalapenos sour cream yes this is my dinner okay this is my dinner 
Good morning, good morning, good morning. I forgot to wish y'all a happy Passover yesterday. Today is Easter Sunday. I'm in the back guest bedroom because I have all my stuff out. We are going to church this morning. Um, let me open up, y'all. We're going to the These Hoes Ain't Lawyer Church. <laughs> no. Oh, I know y'all. I am quote unquote interviewing for church, interviewing churches. I shouldn't say interviewing. I'm looking at new churches still, um, new church home. Um, you guys, I have visited several churches out here and I'm a type of person, I really don't even mind what denomination that's a lie that's a lie i'm not even going to say that because it, I, I, my spirit has already convicted me i am uh very careful about the, the the denomination because there are certain denominations that don't believe in that don't share my same belief so yeah thank you holy spirit for convicting me <laughs> so um but in all in all honesty i did visit I'm talking about i did visit a church um last month and it's a historical black church actually it's been more than a month it's a historical black church here in phoenix and y'all i'll just wrap it up real quick it's not gonna work for me um uh, it is a very slow paced church the average age of the congregation was like 65 which there's nothing wrong with that but i'm that just to let you know that since the members are older they're okay with being in church for four hours like, I'm not kidding you. I got there at 10 o'clock. And by 1230, they were still singing. And I asked a young lady next to me, I said, um, what time do y'all get out of church? She's like, oh, sometimes one or two o'clock. Mind you, I'd driven an hour to get there, which I don't even mind that. However, I want to be in and out of church within two hours if I'm going to drive an hour, girl. Long story short, I couldn't do it. Um, the pastor was very, very nice. Pastor Black, he is originally from Tyler, Texas. I introduced myself and told him I was from Longview. So, so anyway, you guys, um, gonna be cooking today, of course. I did make that pound cake yesterday, and y'all, I'm hard on myself. The pound cake for an average person is good, but for Miss Jackson, it's lackluster. Hmm, it is a traditional pound cake. It's very dense. Girl, why am I even talking about this? It's not that serious. All right, it's just... Is real dense. So anyway, I am going to be cooking. I'm just spitting. I am going to be cooking. I'm going to be making smothered chicken, little bit fried chicken, mashed potatoes. Um, what else? What else? What else? Uh, yeah, I'm so tired. <laughs> um, cabbage. I think I'm going to do. That's too many carbs. I'm not going to do that. I have to do another green veggie or something. I should go get pick up some green beans, but not really. That may be enough, y'all, depending on my mood. I may not feel like and some rolls. Yeah, that's a lot of carbs. So I need to do something else that's green or not so bad. I don't know. And of course that cake. Um, and that is it. Tomorrow I'm going to be having lunch. I'm off tomorrow, thank God. I'm gonna ha be having lunch with my girlfriend Robin, and then I'm gonna take JB to an indoor playground. So yeah, y'all, more and more stuff to do. Look, my husband told me last night, well yesterday when we came back from the birthday party, he said, your friends came, JB, looking for you. I'm like, these kids, yeah, I don't know what to tell these kids. Like, I've already told them twice that he's too young to go out, and they come like every four, I'm just gonna have to like lay, lay it down and be like, he cannot come out at all. I, I'm, well, maybe I'm gonna be like, um, Maybe you shouldn't come by. Maybe our little asses should be. <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll clean it up. I know how to clean it up. I'm just going to let them know that he's too young to go out and we'll come see you. If we find you, we see you outside, then we'll play with you guys. But um, there's no need to keep coming by because the answer still no. Um, and I did get him a new bike. I don't know why. But I did get him a bike. Um, JB doesn't really, you know, these kids nowadays, they have so many alternatives for ride on. So I never, this is his first bike. I know, and he's six years old, his first bike, but it has training wheels and he's so cute on it. But I'm gonna go get a helmet for him, I think today after um, church. And I told him, you know, we can go out and ride. Oh my God, let me show you this cute little bow tie I made for JB for his shirt um, for Easter today. So this is the shirt he's wearing. I'm gonna put this in the uh, dryer so it'll get better. So I just got some fabric. Um, is it zooming in or is it zooming out, girl? I have some, I had some gray fabric, um, blue fabric, and a little bit of yellow fabric. I don't like, it kind of, it's kind of going down like that, but I want it to come up. 
And then I have this clip that I'm gonna go ahead and hot glue on the back. And yeah, JB has about, at this point, about 20, 25. Very easy to make these. Maybe I'll do a, um, I have a vlog that shows how I make these. Um, I don't think I'm really that great because I can see the imperfections here. So I won't, I won't do an official video, but isn't this cute? Just to make it a little dressy for him for Easter. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Oh. The store is not even open yet. It actually does. It's not open yet. I don't think it's the store. I don't want to What? And your shoes? Hmm. You guys, this dress, this dress could still be taking a little bit more. See that? This is how it should fit. I want to take. Hmm. Are you guys? The next time you see me, we will be cooking. All right, y'all. We've been back from church for a while now. I want to show you. I know. I know, girl. I know. I made a. This is from was from scratch or it's from scratch. It's basically a a plain vanilla cake. Um, and the reason why it is very moist, extremely moist. Um, I use cake flour because this cake oh, did not turn out well. But you know what? I'm pretty sure my neighbors would still eat this. It's dry as hell, y'all. So I made a just basic white cake. I didn't have to buy any ingredients but some more vanilla. And this is um, buttercream frosting. Jade's eating some, hence this. Buttercream icing from scratch, and then I'm gonna put coconut on top of it and on the sides. So basically, like a coconut cake, but not really. Coconut cake is a little bit more, I don't know, it's, it's more of a white cake than a vanilla cake, I should say. Going backwards. Hey, after this, we're gonna. I better know you want to damage it. 